What's up everybody? Good to see you again. Quick question. Do you primarily use Luminar Neo or Lightroom? Most likely your answer is probably going to be Luminar Neo if you clicked on this video, but I'm always curious because I kind of bounce back and forth. And today I wanted to uh, show you their new Gin Erase tool. Now, quick uh, disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by them. They actually reached out to me to do a review video of it, and I do have some information about it and how it works, but this is the first time that you and I, that we're gonna be using this together. I have not done anything with these photos. We're literally starting from the very beginning, so let's get into it. All right, let's fix the hat a little bit, show off the, the brand. That's right, branded hats, exploring photography hats. Get one now at the we on the website. <laughs> Anyways, Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Always good to see you. You already know what we're doing, so let's get into Luminar Neo and uh, just start it off. Just as a note, I'm not using easy photos. That's right, no simple man standing in an ocean, remove the man, it's easy, piece of cake, could do it with clone stamp, no. No, 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 we're getting complex. So let's start with the first photo. Now, here we are in Luminar Neo. You see I have my Generace video photos all situated right here, and I'm in the catalog, not the presets or the edit. This is where Gen Erase will appear once you have downloaded it and added it to your Luminar Neo. So we're gonna just select our first photo here, this one, and we're gonna press Gen Erase. Some options here, we have Gen Erase, and it's just the tool we're using. Looks like some back and forth things. Um, this is the before and after. Select, deselect, I think this is probably brush size. Let's see, yeah, brush size, good. And if the tools are the same, you can use the brackets to open and uh, make it bigger or smaller. Uh, reset selection, erase. Okay, good, so let's say we wanna remove this car right here. We like all this traffic, but we wanna remove this car. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda paint over it. And just like that, good, we have our selection. Okay, and we press erase. Now, one thing that they did notice, this is gonna be real time with how long it takes. One thing they did note, a couple of things. You have to have an internet connection for this to work, and it takes a little bit. So we're gonna see exactly on this specific image how long it takes to go through this, and then the other ones I'm gonna speed up, but I am gonna put a timer on it and put it there, that way you see how long it takes for the action to go, and you're not thinking it's like, lightning quick, like it's still going here. But really quick while this is going, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, so that took no time at all for me to say that, and now I have time to kill. Here we go. Okay, so it's done, and there we go. So let's check a look at this. So here is the before, and here is the after. Now, it's not bad, but it's not great because okay so here's the thing clearly this car is in the way but the end of the road is right here on the left to the left of that bus now you'll notice that the bus is still there but it actually did a good job of kind of filling in cars there but it looked like it added like a right turning lane here which could work but um let's try and do it again let's let's erase it again and just see maybe it does a second option uh and i'm gonna speed this one up real quick how's your day going it's good yeah good mine too a little tired, but you know, okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so good. Okay, that actually looks a little better in my opinion. It looks a little bit more realistic. So I generated it twice and boom, there you go. Now we have that removed. It looks better because it looks like the bus is more bussy and the cars there look a little bit more real. Honestly, if you saw this image right off the bat, you would never go right there and say, there was a Jeep there or whatever. Now, once you have made your, finished that, let's say we wanna try and remove this front car in the front, we're gonna, if we paint again with the brush, it adds to the selection here. So we're gonna reset this. So we don't have this selected over here. And we're gonna paint here and paint over this car. Now this would be impressive. Um, <laughs> so let's just see. I really don't believe this is gonna work very well but we will find out soon. So, speed up the video. Here is the countdown timer and, or here's, here's the clocked amount of time that it took to do this. Wow. Wow, that's
that's impressive. Okay, so here's the before, here's the after. Okay, now I, oh, this is funny. It looks really good, but there, look at this. Look at this real quick. Zoom in here. We have a mold of a car and a van here, so that didn't work very well. But that's pretty, pretty darn good. If you weren't paying attention, that would be pretty good. So before, before, after. It's not terrible, like it's workable. Okay, good, we're done with that photo. We're going on to the next one now. So the next one here, we're gonna go into the, uh, let's go into this one here. Now, this is a really funny photo. Let's say you, um, you took this picture, right? And you realized one of two things. One, your legs were way too hairy and they looked terrible. Or two, you realized this is a way overplayed photo and legs and photos over cliffs is not a thing anymore. But it's too late. You can't go back to this beautiful mountain drop and take a photo with your legs. So you're just like, okay, I'm gonna remove my legs. So let's go ahead. <laughs> we're gonna paint over the legs here. We're gonna do both and we're gonna hit a race. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see what happens. While we wait, and where this one's gonna be in real time, a couple of important things about the generative, uh, the gen erase uh, feature. It recreates things in 1536 by 1536 pickle, pickle, pickles, pixels, whereas generative fill in Photoshop is only 1024 by 1024. So that's a huge difference there. Um, one thing to really note that Generace actually is, I believe at this moment in time, the highest pixel generator of this kind of software style. Okay, so here we go. We have our legs done and voila, that looks fantastic. Now we have a unique and beautiful photo without hairy legs hanging off of the mountain. I love it. Okay, good, <laughs> not bad. Let's go to the next photo and let's get into one more before we get to the glare of the eyes on the glasses. Um, let's see, for this one, let's say we wanted to remove these people here. So uh, one thing that they made a note of was do things individually. Don't try and do all at once. Like I wouldn't want to select all of this at one time. Let's start with these guys here. Actually, I think we could probably get away with these guys here but we wouldn't select this and then go over here. Actually, let's try it. Let's just try it, why not? I haven't done it before. There we go, let's just try and erase all the peoples. And another point while we wait for this one is they don't share or uh, save any input or output of photos. So anything you use or anything you change, they don't actually save it. So it is all used, it's all privacy, all you know, still your, your work. Damn, that looks pretty freaking good. Here's the before, here's the after. Do I notice anything, anything at all? A uh, little bit of stuff here, which we could fix up. But honestly, if I were to look at this photo without seeing this photo prior, it would be pretty cool. So that's not bad. Okay, good, and let's we're gonna save that one because that might be the thumbnail. Uh, we're gonna go into the next and final one and go into Gen Erase. This is the fun one. This is the one that I've been waiting to try. Let's try all of the glare at one time. So let's try and remove this. Now from what I understand, you don't wanna just select it perfectly. You actually want to select a little bit around it as well, because from what they said, work how it works is it basically analyzes all of the information on the image all around it. It works with curves, it works with different planes, things like that to make sure that it's creating the best possible recreation. So let's just try this and see what happens. That's a lot. That This would be quite impressive if it did here. Okay, so here's what we got here. So it looks okay. Let's start here in the left eye. Uh, my our left eye. So the glare is gone, but we have a little bit of whitening there. We got that doesn't look too bad. It looks a little long. The one on the right eye at the top looks fine actually, but then on the right side of the face, it kind of reconstructed the face, so it didn't do too well. So let's um let's 
get rid of that. Let's undo that. Good, and then let's reset the selection. And we're gonna try this. Okay, good. So now we're just gonna try this individually. So let's start here. But honestly, it looked, it did pretty good. Like I'm pretty impressed. So let's erase this. And I'm gonna definitely speed these up because I don't wanna make this video longer than it has to be. And just as a quick note, this video isn't sponsored by them, but I am an affiliate. So if you decide to get Luminar Neo or Gen Erase or anything like that, there is a link in the description that helps me out. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help me out. So I do appreciate you using those. All right, so here we are at the end of the, the erasing. Here's the before, here's the after. That is workable. Okay, good. Now let's try this hard part. So let's reset selection. Let's go over here to this one. This one's a little bit more thicker. There we go, erase. Speed this one up. Not terrible, not great, but better than it was. Like this is the before, this is the after, this is the before. I think we could probably regenerate it again, try it again, and it would probably work pretty good. Okay, and that's it. That is a, kind of a quick overview of this awesome tool. I do think it is pretty cool and I think it's gonna get better and better as the AI technology increases. My favorite thing about this is that it generates in 15 by 1500 by 1500 pixels, which is awesome considering it's needed. So if you wanna get it, links in the description. Also put in a bunch of goodies in there for you as well. Uh, courses, uh, free presets, whatnot. Uh, but at this point, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and YouTube recommends you go watch this video I personally recommend you go watch this video and if you want to subscribe You can hit that button right there All right, everybody. I'll see you next time